My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to support this YouTube channel, go to my Patreon link below. I greatly appreciate everyone who contributes. Um, and I just want to thank you for your support. This is CNN Breaking News, and it is Pentagon warned Flynn in 2014 against taking foreign payments. IG launches investigation. So the Pentagon is investigating Michael Flynn. I'll read you. Former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn was warned by the Defense Intelligence Agency in 2014 against accepting foreign payments as he entered retirement. The Inspector General of the Department of Defense also opened an investigation of Flynn earlier this month. The news comes two days after a Cummings and House Oversight Committee Jason, Ch Jason Chaffetz said Flynn may have broken the law by not disclosing payments he received from RT, a station widely considered to be a propaganda arm of the Russian government. That's like saying CNN is a propaganda arm of the U.S. government. That's like saying Fox is a propaganda arm of the U.S. government. It's exactly like saying that. But anyway, Chaffetz also sent a letter Thursday to the acting secretary of the army asking for a final determination as to whether, the, whether Flynn violated the law. Whether or not he violated, violated the law, that's, you know, up for debate. They are investigating. That's a separate issue from how this is going to be politicized. People are going to say, well, Democrats are going to say, well, you know, um, if he took payments from RT, then that means Trump hacked the DNC along with Trump paid Russian hackers to hack the DNC. So you see, he should be impeached right now. This is a ridiculous narrative. The NSA is only moderately confident about. And if you notice, once Trump engaged in the military in interventions in Syria, Afghanistan, and now in North Korea, Democrats pulled back. Democrats are no longer frothing at the mouth regarding Russia because they've been appeased. The Democratic Party is full of neocons, full of people who just want regime change, who just look at a map of the world like it's a game of risk. I say stratego, but somebody said, no, 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 it's risk. So Democrats are also war hawks and also very into regime change, neoconservative philosophy and foreign policy. That philosophically is why I'm against, well, that's why I voted a Green Party and Bernie Sanders initially. You cannot have, it's not when people say, well, you happy with Trump? No, no, no. Nobody said he would be a good progressive or a good Democrat. Philosophically, you cannot have a Democratic Party that is either Republican light on war, foreign policy, and Wall Street, or worse than the Republicans. And we see that now. So the whole Michael Flynn story is really a cover for the true value system of the Democratic Party. Democrats love war, unfortunately. They need to be the antithesis of Republicans if they're going to fix that fracture that exists within the, the, the Democratic Party. Give me your thoughts below. Flynn's being investigated. Um, the payments from RT are not an issue. It's a media company. And the Fox News and CNN also has also have ties to the U.S. government. So if he, if he accepted payments from those stations, would that be okay? Or would that be, or, or what, if, what if he accepted a payment from a rival political group? Um, let's say he was working for President Obama, which he was. And he accepted a payment from Fox. Is that is that is that wrong? Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.